Section 10.2 is parabolas. So we've already talked about everything that's on this slide in the past in section 3.3. .3. So if you need some review, you could go back and rewatch that video. It's linked above. Otherwise, I'd pause the video and write down this information. This is the geometric definition of a parabola. Pause the video and write this down. So the geometric definition of a parabola is the set of all points that are equidistant from a fixed line called a directrix and a fixed point not on the line called a focus. The vertex is always halfway between the directrix and the focus. The focus is always inside the parabola. The parabola never crosses over the directrix. We call this distance from the focus to the vertex, which is the same distance as the vertex to the directrix, mm -hmm. C. And we can calculate C by 1 over 4a, where a is the leading coefficient of your equation. For an up or down facing parabola, your directrix is always going to be a horizontal line, so the equation is always going to be y equals some number. We're given a parabola that has a vertex at negative 2, 3, and a focus at negative 2, 1, and we want to find its directrix and graph. The first thing I always do when I'm doing these problems is graph what we know. So I graph my vertex and my focus. The focus is always inside the parabola, so that means I know that this is going to be a downward facing parabola since the focus is below the vertex. And the directrix is always on the opposite side, so I know the directrix is going to be somewhere above the vertex. We also know that the distance between the vertex and the focus, which in this case is 2, is the same as the distance between the vertex and the directrix, so I know the distance between the vertex and the directrix is also going to be 2 in the opposite direction, so then I know my directrix is going to be up here at y equals 5. Again, the vertex is always in between the focus and the directrix. Since the focus was two places, two spots below the vertex, we knew that the directrix had to be two spots above the vertex. So then I'm just going to draw a downward facing parabola to match this. It didn't ask me for the equation of the parabola or anything, so that's my final answer. Again, we're given the vertex and the focus. This time we want to find the equation of the parabola in addition to finding the directrix and graphing. Since we're given the same information, go ahead and pause the video, find the directrix, and graph what we already know. So we're given that the vertex is at the origin and the focus is at 0, negative 2, which means it's a downward facing parabola. A is going to be negative because the focus is below the vertex. We also know that the distance in between is 2, which means the directrix is 2 above the vertex, so the directrix is going to be the line y equals 2. We know the equation of a parabola in vertex form is y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k, where h and k are the x and y coordinates of your vertex. So now we know that our equation of a parabola is going to be y is equal to a x squared because h and k are both zero. So to be able to find a, we know that a is negative, but to be able to find the actual value, we know that c, the distance between the vertex and the focus or the directrix and the focus, is 2, and we know that c is equal to 1 over 4a. So we can use this to solve for a. So if we cross multiply, we get 8a is equal to 1, so a is equal to 1 8th. So our equation of our parabola is y is equal to negative 1 8th x squared. So if we graph this, you end up with a pretty wide downward facing parabola. So again, the vertex is always in between the focus and the directrix. If the focus is below, it's always inside the parabola, so then that means it's going to face down. So we knew a was negative. The distance between the vertex and the focus, or the vertex and the directrix, which in this case is 2, is equal to 1 divided by 4a, where a is your leading coefficient of your parabola. So on this one, they give us the focus and the directrix, and we want to find the equation of the parabola. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one. So we know that the vertex is halfway in between the focus and the directrix in line. So if the focus is at 0, 0, and the directrix is at y equals negative 6, then we know the vertex is at 0, negative 3. If you haven't finished finding the equation of the parabola, go ahead and pause the video and find the equation. So the distance between the Vertex and the focus of the vertex and the directrix is 3, so that's our value c, where c is equal to 1 over 4a. 
So A is equal to 1 12th, and we know it's positive because the focus is above the vertex, so that means that the parabola has to open up. So then I plugged in everything that we know, y is equal to 1 12th, x minus h, where h is 0, so x squared minus 3. I just used this down here, I set y equals 0 to figure out where it was going to cross the x-axis to figure out exactly how wide my parabola is going to be. So in this one we're given the equation of a parabola in standard form and we want to find the work. So the equation, the vertex, the focus, directrix, and to graph it. So the way that we're going to need to do this is we're going to have to complete the square in order to get this in vertex form. So to complete the square I would move the 4y over but leave the 4 attached to it and then you have x squared minus 6x plus leave your space plus 5 minus leave your space. So go ahead and pause the video, complete the square, and put this in vertex form. So divide b by 2 and square it. So 6 divided by 2 is 3 squared is 9. We added it, so then we have to subtract it back off. And then make it a perfect square, so x, keep your sign, minus whatever it was before you squared it, so x minus 3 quantity squared minus 4. Then divide everything by 4, so you get y is equal to 1 fourth x minus 3 quantity squared minus 1. So now you're in vertex form, you can easily read off the vertex. So go ahead and pause the video, find the vertex, use your a value to find your focus and your directrix, and graph this. So reading straight out of the equation, we get that our vertex is 3, negative 1, so that's down here. Our c value, which is our distance between our vertex and our directrix, or our vertex and our focus, is 1 over 4a. Well, we know that a is 1 fourth, so 4 times 1 fourth will just be 1, so your c value is 1. So the distance between the vertex and the directrix, or the vertex and the focus, is a distance of 1. Because a is positive, I know that my focus is going to be directly above my vertex. So if our vertex was at 3, negative 1, then our focus is going to be at 3, 0. Our directrix is going to be 1 the opposite direction, so that means our directrix is going to be at y equals negative 2. I set this equal, our equation equal to 0 and found the x-intercepts were 1 and 5, so then this is your parabola. So you're going to have to remember on these how to complete the square. Again, I would leave the linear term with its coefficient and then divide it away at the very end. Everything we've talked about so far has been parabolas that open either up or down because we've only talked about functions so far. In conic sections, if you get away from functions, you can have parabolas that open left and right also by, having, by interchanging x and y. So you have a y squared in your equation instead of an x squared and a linear x instead of a linear y. So you would have the equation x is equal to a y minus k quantity squared plus h where h comma k is your vertex, h is still the x coordinate, still alphabetical. If a is positive then it opens to the right. The focus is still inside which means the focus is to the right of the vertex and the directrix is still outside which means the directrix is a vertical line to the left of the vertex. If it's a vertical line, that means it has the equation x equals something. If a is negative, that means it opens to the left, which means the focus is still inside the parabola, so it would be to the left of the vertex, and the directrix would be to the right of the vertex, being a vertical line. So we can do the exact same thing we did on the previous example, but now with a y squared parabola. So you're going to go through all the same steps, you're going to find all the same things, so go ahead and pause the video and try the same thing with this equation. So I move 12x, the linear term, to the other side equals y squared minus 2y plus leave your space plus 25 minus leave your space. Divide by 2 and square it. These are going to be 1s. So you end up with x is equal to 1 12th y minus 1 quantity squared plus 2. 1 12th, your a value is positive, so it's going to open to the right, which means your focus is going to be to the right of the vertex. Your vertex is 2, 1, because h and k are switched, because x and y are switched. Your c value is 1 over 4a, where a in this case is 1 12th. So you end up with 1 over 1 third, which is 3. Since the focus is to the right of the vertex, 2 plus 3 to the right would be 5, so your focus is 5, 1. And then your directrix would be 3 the opposite direction, 2 minus 3, your directrix is x equals negative 1. So the biggest thing to remember is that now you can have parabolas open left and right as well as up and down. Everything else holds true. Your x and y's just switch. And then we have these new things called focus and directrix. 
C is the distance between the vertex and the focus, or the vertex and the directrix, and that's 1 over 4a, where a is the leading coefficient.